everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'll be teaching you guys how to get this look here it's really simple with a bold lip I thought this was really cute for Valentine's Day since it's actually tomorrow I'm wearing like one of the looks from my Instagram post so if you guys want you can go follow me down below and see what the rest of them are and get some little inspiration for what to wear so yeah I'm not naked I am wearing a dress but this is a Valentine's Day look but you know you can honestly wear this anywhere if you change the lip color like it changes the look completely so just because you single like me and I'm gonna take this off and go back in my pajamas and go back to bed you know we can all still have a like a self-care day on Valentine's Day so yeah, even if you don't have like a boo or somewhere to go out, um, I suggest maybe like doing a face mask or just, you know, hanging out with friends and family because Valentine's Day is all about the love. It doesn't have to be about someone else specifically. So for me, I like to celebrate it with my family and basically just doing like a self-care day because I also love myself. So yeah, I hope you guys get inspired. Um, if not to do this look, hopefully go out and you know do like a little spa day maybe treat your mama to something um but yeah i filmed this look for you guys and i hope you guys enjoy it um basically i already did my eyebrows so for my eyebrows i use the morphe gel with the morphe m with the morphe 160 angled eyebrow brush really precise really good the lady at the morphe store helped me out with that one a tart shape tape in the shade fair and i'm gonna use it to prime my eyes so i'm just gonna i'm gonna just take this flat um this is like a bh cosmetics brush that came in like a kit but it has like a flat tip that's really good for um basically just like carving out your brows and applying a base to your eyelids and I was like going really light over my eyelids just because it makes the eyeshadows pop obviously not everyone can do that but as you can see I'm the color of my white wall because it's winter time so I'm allowed okay I'm allowed to be white <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my Modern Renaissance palette. So to start off, I'm gonna take the color Burnt Orange, right here, and I'm gonna take it on my Morphe M514 brush. So I'm just gonna dip it into that color, shake off the excess, and just lightly press into my crease. This is gonna be a good transition shade. To help like smoke everything out because I think I want to do like a smoky look that's kind of like sexy and sultry for me myself and I because we are single or at least I'm single I don't know about y'all if y'all taken congratulations um so yeah I'm just gonna go and cover this whole outer corner and basically blend it inwards and upwards next off I'm gonna take the shade red ochre right here it's like a dark maroon color and I'm gonna focus it on the outer corner but just like the lower part so I'm gonna take it on this little brush it's stained blue but it's like a little pencil brush I believe it's from BH Cosmetics so I'm gonna take that color and just focus it right here on the outer corner and I'm just gonna pack it in there and make sure that it goes a little bit upwards just to lift the eye. Like I said, I like the lifted eye effect. And I'm gonna go back in with the fluffy brush and just help kind of like smoke it out even more. I'm just gonna take a little teeny tiny bit of the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and basically just use it to not cut the crease, just kind of like clean the lid up a little bit. And the tip here is to just like gently as you can see I'm not going like this I see a lot of people do that it doesn't work for me it like skips my eyelid so I just like pat I do patting motions until I get the desired shape and that's why I think this brush is like essential is because it helps you create that like rounded effect without having to like drag the brush okay 
Now, as you can see, everything is cut. We are sliced, baby girl. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back in and take the same little pencil brush and the same red ochre dark maroon color and just kind of like help blend in that difference. I'm gonna go in with the big fluffy brush and I feel like you already know the routine. I'm gonna take the same lighter transition shade and help blend it in to that color. We have this like clean lid base. I'm gonna take a MAC lipstick. This is in the shade Metalwork. It's a gorgeous shimmery color. And I'm basically gonna apply it to my lid. Ooh, okay, that's not my lid. So I'm just gonna dab it on there really lightly. I'm gonna take this Airspun Loose Highlighter, this to kind of set the lipstick, just because lipstick isn't meant to be on your eyes. But you know what, I break the rules, so I'm gonna use this to set it in place. And it's really shimmery. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go back in with the fluffy brush, and we're gonna blend it in again, just to make sure we ain't got no harsh lines. I just took a makeup wipe and cleaned up the under eye and I'm gonna go in, I have some lashes that are like cut up remains and I'm gonna place them on the outer corners to give the eye like a lifting effect. I have really long eyelashes according to everyone else but myself. Um, so mine, if I don't curl them, y'all can see a difference. Like this is not curled and this is curled. And that's with like eyeliner and stuff on. So I have pretty long eyelashes. So if I don't do anything with them, they won't look right. Blend it in. Okay, so I'm taking my mascara and I'm just gonna apply it mainly to the inner section just because I want it to blend out and done. <clears throat> I don't want to make the outer ones any bigger than they already are because these are pretty long eyelashes But I'm gonna take the Maybelline Fit Me um, Matte Poreless Foundation and this is in the color 120 usually I think I'm a 220 but like I said it's winter time and I'm white a little bit of this and I'm gonna mix it with my Cetaphil moisturizer because I've been really vibing with the whole no makeup makeup look and I feel like this gives it such a nice like light finish I wouldn't recommend it for like all day wear though because it does like slide off depending on how much of this you put okay next I'm gonna take this IT Cosmetics this is like a mini brush but I believe they have the full-size version and it's a really good like foundation stipple brush so I'm just gonna go ahead Alright, so next off, after that's all blended, I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Concealer, and this is in the color Vanilla, and I'm just going to apply that to under my eyes and around my mouth. I'm going to take my Airspun Powder, this is a different container, but it's the one from, you can get it like at Walmart and Target. And I'm going to take a little square sponge and just dip it in there. And we're going to bake. Not cookies, unfortunately. But you know what? We're going to look good, so... We're going to continue on with the rest of our face. So I'm going to take my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I'm going to take this random giant brush. Um, and I'm just going to con... Not contour. I'm going to bronze because we don't want to look like a piece of paper throughout our whole face. I'm going to take the Steve Laurent blush and it looks like this. Now that we look like we're naturally blushing when a guy talks to us. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go back in with the same highlighter we used on our eyes, which is the Airspun one. I'm going to take my little pencil brush with the burnt orange, which is the transition, the lighter shade and just smoke it out down here and this gold color right here called Primavera it's a gorgeous shimmer 
So I'm just going to take it and put it right in the under inner corner and also in the inner corner. Alright, so to finish off this whole look, I'm going to take a MAC uh, lip pencil in the shade Shikari. And then I'm going to pair that with the Kylie Lip Kit. It's the color Mary Jo K. My label kind of went away. So we're going to outline our lips and then we're going to fill them in. So yeah, this is the final look. It's really simple, kind of sexy, really smoky, and you can really wear it anywhere. I just thought it was cute for Valentine's Day, just because it is a little bit sultry, and the red lip really tops it off nicely. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this look. It took me maybe like half an hour, so it's kind of a quick tutorial. But I hope you guys get inspired, if not to do this look. Go out and do something a little different. Maybe change it up a bit. Maybe the lip color isn't for you. Maybe we can do something else. Also, I am wearing a dress. Uh, this is one of the looks from my Instagram so if you guys want you can go follow me down below and check out some dressing inspiration because you need to know how to dress to go with this makeup look thank you so much for watching don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys want to see more bye